Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by. You know, on Wednesday night of last week, I did a step five with an individual from his 12 step program and his step four was excellent. He had over a hundred examples of situations he got into while drinking and he went over it with me. It took about two and a half hours, three hours, but it was a very thorough one. And I congratulated him on it. I'm very proud of him because it takes a lot of effort and a lot of courage to do a step five. It really does. It really does. But I get a lot of questions about step four and I go to meetings and I hear about people talking about step four, like it's this big monster in the room, this big elephant in the room and people are terrified about it and they, they get overwhelmed and some, a lot of people never do it really. If you're, if you're thinking on doing a step four, congratulations, because a lot of people don't do it, believe it or not. But if you don't do a thorough step four, it's really hard to do a thorough step five, obviously, and to identify your character defects in step six. So doing a step four and being vigorously honest with yourself will only benefit yourself. It really will. So I just want to go over a few things that I find that may help you get over this fear or get over this hesitation or procrastination when it comes to doing your step four. The first one is keep it simple. Keep it simple. A lot of the methods of doing step four are pretty intense nowadays and they're really long versions of step four. I've never done a step four the modern way sort of thing. The way I've done a step four is exactly the way it's out of the, out of the big book. It's in the big book. It's doing columns. There's examples in there that talk about doing a step four. That's the way I have done it. And I've done three of them. Step fours in my, in my drink, in my recovery life and they've been helpful. But the one thing that I think will very, will help you do a step four is just keep it simple. Don't get overwhelmed. Stick to the big book. I think the big book doing it is basically the easiest way of doing it with the basic columns, the basic who the resentment's about, what happened and what your behavior or your outcome of it was. So it's, it's you know, it's basically three columns and it's really simple. It really is. And I, and I think that's a great thing to do. Get your sponsor, your sponsor to help you and walk you through doing a step four in the big book. And I think you might be a little more uh, happier to do it for lesser words. I know it's not as stressful doing it that way. Another one is trust in the journey. Trust in the journey when it comes to doing it. And the reason I say that because it's making us feel vulnerable a lot of us may feel, you know, emotional, down. Why am I doing this? But just trust in the journey. Trust in the 12 step journey that this is a really good thing for you to do in your recovery. It's the, really the first action step we do in the 12 steps of AA. That is an action step that we have to put pen to paper and write it down. But just trust in the journey. You may feel anxious, some anxiety, while doing it, but just trust in that. Trust that this is going to get better for you. It's gonna give you a better foundation when it comes to your program. It did me, and to be honest with you, I've never drank since I did a fourth and fifth step. I've never drank. But before that, I was slip sliding all over the place. I really was. So just trust in the journey. I got it written down here just to make sure I get the order that I wanna explain things to you. Another one is keep an open mind, keep an open mind. And so when you're writing things down and you don't think it's important, just keep an open mind. If you're thinking about it, if you're feeling it and it's been troubling you, just, just write it down. So, so keeping an open mind again in the journey and the process, I guess that's what I want to say. Okay. But an open mind for me, when it came to my step four was basically my way didn't work. I'm going to do this step four that I don't even want to do it. I'm afraid to do it. It's causing me sadness. It's making me cry. It's doing all this kind of stuff, but I'm going to keep an open mind because people have told me it's good for me. And by the way, my way did not work. It really didn't. I ended up in jail in sobriety before I did a step four. I had anger issues, resentments, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. And I thought it was crazy. But when I started doing a step four, 
things slowly started to sort themselves out for me. They really did. Another one is that it's really, really important. This is probably one of the most important parts of it, besides actually physically doing it. And that's the honesty level of it. To be completely honest with yourself. Okay, because the step four is just basically a list, right? Just a bit, basically a list, a snapshot of your alcoholic life. It's basically what it is. So being honest with yourself completely when you're writing things down. Be completely honest. And the reason I say that, because if you're not honest, you're just cheating yourself. You're not cheating anyone else but yourself. Like I said earlier, a thorough step four will only benefit you in the long run. It benefited me in the long run. It really did. Because to do a, a, a thorough step four and an honest step four, you'll do a great fifth. You'll get it all off your, your, your shoulder sort of thing. You'll get it all off your chest, all the, the stuff you, you need to talk to about and you're carrying, all that heavy stuff. You'll have relief from that. But when you go into six and seven, you'll have the proper Okay, you'll have the proper information. I'm gonna do a video on showing you how to do a proper step, step six by using your fourth. I'll do it in a week or two, I'll do it. So don't, if you're doing the fourth, hold on to your fourth, okay? Because I'm gonna show you a really simple way of doing a great six step to find your character defects, okay? But I'm getting a little off topic, ain't I? I'm getting a little off topic. Another one, remember that step four is only for your eyes only it's a list for only your eyes and people get anxious about step four a lot because they build in step five they build in that step five or they build in that step nine that they have to make amends over the step four and that's true you have to make an amends and your amends list comes from your a thorough step four again that's why you need your step four but they build in that step five into it and they build in that step nine or they build in the character defects. So when they do a step four, they start getting even more overwhelmed. But believe me, just because you do a step four doesn't mean you have to do a step five. It's only for your eyes. It's only for you to look at, okay? So keep that in mind. I think that's really important. I think that gets overlooked a lot when it comes to doing it, okay? It's for you only. And if you want to tell your sponsor or a priest, whoever you want to tell, that's up to you after. But just remember, write it down for yourself. Write it down for yourself, okay? And I've already, I've already talked about this part when it comes to the step four. I've already talked about it, and that's, it can be very emotional. And it can be very, you might feel sadness, depression even. It may bring up some old angers, some hurts, all that kind of stuff, these step fours, and they can really do that. If it's doing, if it's doing that to you, you might want to slow down a little bit, take a breather, maybe pick it up in a couple hours on the next day. I wouldn't suggest stopping. I wouldn't suggest that, to not, not do it because of your too, you're too emotional. I was very emotional when I did my step four. I was crying when I was doing it, believe it or not, the tears, and the relief just flowed out of me. I couldn't believe it. It's, you know, I always say it took me two years to get over the fear to do my step four and 20 minutes to write my step four. And that's, that's the basic truth of it. It really did. It took me only a short time to do it. And, it, but it took me a long time to get around to do it, getting over that fear, getting over all that stuff people made it out to be, right? This big mountain that we had to climb, but it really isn't. Keeping it simple is really, really key. A step four is basically, I've mentioned this before also in the video, is a, step, a snapshot of your drinking or a snapshot of your life in the past. And because we're writing it down, we're putting a pa pen to paper, it makes that past come alive again and feel very real to us. Before we just kept it in our heads. But when you see it in front of you, in print, it brings it back to life. It brings it back those old memories. It brings back those old haunts, those old things that were done to you or maybe you did to other people. Why you resent people, why you resented your parents, why you resent your boss, things you did to your girlfriend, things you did to your wife, whatever it is. We didn't come into Alcoholics Anonymous because we were saints. We didn't. I don't know about you, but when I go 
to Alcoholics Anonymous, I'm in the room with wife abusers like I was, you know, violent people went to jail, hookers, drug addicts, you know, kind of the, the society that people didn't want. I'm in that room with those people. They may look around, they may look all nice and well-groomed, but let me tell you, they probably got a history too. So when you look at that step four, don't be so heavy on yourself and judgmental of yourself, of things you did in the past, because that is alcoholism 101. A lot of those things we did and we put in our fourth, we would never have done if we weren't in an alcoholic state or even when you're not drinking, you have that thinking going on in between the drinks. Alcoholism just doesn't stop because you quit drinking. I know for myself, even when I was off the booze until I entered a 12 step program, I was still pretty crazy in between the drinks. I really was and I drank a lot. I drank every day at the end, I really did. So it's a snapshot. It's gonna tell you, yeah, I really have a problem. Yeah, I really drank a lot and I caused a lot of problems. And you know, be grateful that you have the opportunity to clean your life up. Be grateful that you have this ability, this fortitude to look, look past the fear, look past the hurts, look past the sadness, look past all that and, and push forward knowing that it's uncomfortable, knowing that you feel vulnerable, knowing that this is the truth. This is my reality of my past. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of courage there. There really, really is. And the last thing I want to say is that, that for myself, right, a step four is just the beginning of rebuilding your life. First of all, we have to know what we're talking about when it comes to rebuilding our lives. So step four, like I said, is a great, great snapshot of your drinking career. It really is. So I hope you like this video. I hope it doesn't um, discourage you from doing, from doing the steps. But if you're into the steps and you're going to do your fourth, congratulations. Pat yourself on the back and be grateful for that. Be very, very grateful because you're on a journey of discovery. You're out of a journey of new life, new beginnings new friends, new romance, new jobs, new everything. And through this process, you will see that you're not really that bad. It's just that we've carried things with us so long and rehearsed them in our heads so many times that we put, we grew, you know, like ant hills into mountains, okay? So go to the big book, get your sponsor, go to big book meetings and do the fourth step I recommend exactly the way it is in the big book. It's easy peasy, simple. Go ahead and do it. That's the way I do it. And that's the way I will always stick to my recovery. If it's not in the big book, I usually don't do it. I usually don't. I trust in that method all the time. I trust in doing my steps like that. I trust in all that stuff when it comes to the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. It saved my life. My sponsors walked me through it. We did it step by step in that big book and it saved my life and it gave me a new life, a bigger and better life. And I know it will do it for you, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, leave a comment below. If you take another second, can you hit that subscribe button? And don't forget to hit that like button. Remember, there's no I in team. Go and find a meeting in your area. Surround, your peop surround yourself with like-minded people. Get involved in the steps. Get involved in the traditions. Get involved in getting active. And your life will change. Unbelievable. It really, really will. Okay? God bless. Stay safe. Stay sober. And remember, remember, keep coming back. It works if you work it. Ciao for now.